Chill. It's nice to have solid defense. Absolutely. Bori and Marto here, and today we'll talk about the brand new way to improve your defenses and make your enemies fear your mighty base protector. In the world of WPO, one has to be always on the lookout for any sort of attack from the enemy. The latest edition will help you step up your game and be calm that your base is in good hands. Get ready to bring your defensive commander to the next level, so he can grow more powerful and bring you more glory on the battlefield. This is the online tutorial for the defensive commander specialization. It is easy, flexible and customizable. You believe that strengthening thrashers, defensive abilities and health is the way to go? You can do it! Or you are the type of person who thinks that attack is the best defense. Or maybe you prefer to solidify your base with better vault capacity, research speed and building speed. You can do it all. It depends on just one thing. Your personal preferences. You have the full power to decide how to crush anyone who dares to challenge Thrasher. You can access the new specialization through the Defensive Commander menu, just like shown on the screen. We have three branches to choose from, Offensive, Defensive and Utility. Each skill tree opens new global bonuses that can give your Defensive Commander an edge in specific situations. Which path will you choose? We are eager to know, so make sure to share your thoughts in the comment section below. For your convenience, each skill type is in a different color. Offensive skills are in red, defensive skills in blue, and utility skills in green. You can see the details of any individual skill just by tapping on it. You can also see what level your commander skills are and how close you are to unlocking new ones. These skills grant things like extra health or bonus damage for certain unit types. But some offer game-changing buffs, like using Thrasher's second skill multiple times in a battle or getting instant resources. Leveling up the skills is quite simple. You just need Defender Insignia, which can be obtained in various ways, including through the brand new gacha we introduced with the update. If you missed the update 37 video, you can watch it by clicking on the link here. We shared some exciting news, so make sure you watch it. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell and you will never miss a video again. Back to the fierce protector of your base, Commander Thrasher. The Defender Insignia can be invested into the Commander to level him up and grant spec points. Then you can invest those points in specialization skills of your choice, as long as you meet the skills requirements. Each skill can be leveled up multiple times. You have to choose whether to focus your points on mastering a few key skills or spread out your points across many skills. There is no right or wrong way to do it. It is all based on your personal preferences and needs. However, nothing is constant and things might change. If you come up with a new defensive strategy or if you want to tweak some of the skills, don't worry, we have thought about this and we have a solution. You can always reset your points using a reset voucher, just like the ones for the offensive commanders. Once done, you will be able to reallocate your points and unlock a new strategic combination. The reset button is placed on the bottom right with the reset voucher icon and the amount of it on the left side. If you have unspent points or Defender Insignia, Thrasher will conveniently remind you by placing an exclamation mark above his building in your base. See you and your improved defensive commander on the battlefield.